a diverse group of women and men who cross generations, borders, sectors, and beliefs. What draws them together is a common passion for the application and search for innovation, for values-inspired leadership, and for moral and ethical values in their work environment. The purpose of a financial system is to manage the economy and the affairs of the human family as it moves towards an ever-advancing civilization. While the financial system provides the tools, it is the duty of each enterprise to find its ultimate purpose and to decide what role it wants to play in the grand scheme of things. This year, the focus of the annual conference was on the definition, the design, and the components of the best company ever, a company that is designed to fit the new economic world environment. During the conference, he shared some ideas on building the best company ever. My own experience working for different organizations has been that the best contribution that one can make to a company's quality is basically to remain faithful you know, to one's own ethical and moral principles. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of the problems that we see in the, you know, today mm -hmm. um, have an ethical, moral dimension that is very often at the heart of them. You know, mm -hmm. Think of the financial crisis mm -hmm. uh, that we have seen in the, in the global economy during the last couple of years. For those people who have studied the causes of the crisis, it is evident that a very important primary cause of the crisis has been basically abuses of the regulatory regime uh, by people who were unduly focused on profits and, and, and personal financial yes. gain yes. and were not focused enough on the integrity of the system. The European Baha'i Business Forum is not just a place for senior managers. There are a lot of people searching for a meaningful career. I would try to look for a place that uh, that is in some sense committed to the public good. You know? um, for me it's very important to be engaged in a, in a work or in an activity that has a public service dimension to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, even if it is you know, just simply producing a particular good of service, you know, there are certain things that the world needs more than others. Um, so I would try to look for a place where I will feel motivated and I will feel that the work that I'm doing for the company that I'm working for, you know, in some sense is also contributing you know, to, uh, to an improvement in global welfare. For me, that is very important. Uh, without that dimension, I think it, I would feel that I'm simply just earning money you know, to pay my bills. And while that is important, um, I don't think that for me it would be important enough to keep my interest and to maintain me committed you know, to that company for a long, long time. So, uh, you know, the world is in, in, in a difficult situation. We have many needs. Uh, we have many challenges that we face. Uh, to the extent that we can, I think we should try to work for organizations that are contributing in some way, you know, to the search for solutions to many of these important global problems. Augusto Lopez Claro sends a powerful message to people who believe that someone else will solve the problems of the world on their behalf. So for me, the challenge in the 21st century is basically how do we move to a framework of international cooperation where we have the right kinds of institutions to, to deal with these problems in a way that actually solves these problems. You know, we talk enough about these problems, but we haven't yet found a mechanism to address and to solve these problems. And if we don't solve them, then we're going to have very serious crises in coming years. Uh, and that is the concern that I have. So, you know, you're right, the, the crisis is an opportunity, but this opportunity has to be taken. We have to rise to it, and we have to begin to do the kinds of things that need to be done urgently to deal with these pending problems. We can no longer just blame it on governments. The world is in the condition it is, partly because good people don't do the kinds of things that they should be doing. To learn more about EBBF and the upcoming events around the world, please visit our website at ebbf.org.